Remember Andy's? You know, as a kid, I always Why? loved Halloween. From the costumes, to the candy, to the cartoons. There was just something about the Halloween atmosphere that I personally could never get from Christmas. So for this year, I've decided to make a countdown highlighting the creepiest and most disturbing episodes of another nostalgic treat, the Pokemon anime. There's no lack of spooky stories or urban legends when it comes to this beloved childhood series. So let's dig in. Here are the top five creepiest and most disturbing Pokemon episodes of all time. This one isn't creepy, but I had to put it on the list for how disturbing its legend has become. On December 16th, 1997, upon watching this episode, nearly 700 kids were taken to hospitals after suffering from seizures and other horrendous symptoms. The cause of this horrible event, now dubbed Pokemon Shock, has since been traced back to a scene involving strobing effects attached to Pikachu's Thunderbolt attack that ran against flashing red and blue backgrounds. Now, although there's been countless parodies, myths, and creepypastas surrounding this since-banned episode, there's no information that anyone ever actually died from watching the scene in question. But the fact that we're not sure, and there's speculation about cover-ups and settlements, just leaves you with a feeling of dread. Although, to be honest, there's no evidence at all of children actually dying, and these are likely all just conspiracy theories. Or are they? Mystery at the Lighthouse was the first Pokemon episode that really had any sort of creepy atmosphere. It starts normal enough, but as soon as Ash and the gang stumble upon Bill's mysterious lighthouse, the spooky fun begins. Creepy noises, nobody home, and of course, the shrouded silhouette of an enormous creature. Even though nowadays it's obvious this was just a Dragonite, as a kid, this was our first real sense that there were unexplored and unexplained phenomenon in the Pokemon world, and this is the episode that got many young children, including myself, hooked. To this day, I can still remember hearing the Dragonite's eerie wail and how much it both scared and intrigued me. Also, even though it's not creepy at all, I thought I just needed to share this little nugget from the episode with you guys. That's a big Pokemon! So size does matter. Wow. Early Pokemon sure was different. I won't lie, this is the only episode that isn't from Season 1. There are a few other disturbing episodes throughout the show's 18-year-old history, but for my money, that first season took a lot more liberties and really pushed the boundaries wherever it could. Case in point. However, this episode had to be included because it's just so unsettling. Scare at the Litwick Mansion is almost like a pokefied version of The Shining, and I could definitely see how this one would creep out any six-year-old. In an abandoned mansion while hiding from the rain, Team Rocket have their life essence stolen by a group of psycho Litwicks. This one is scarce on storytelling, but that atmosphere and disturbing visuals definitely make this one of the creepiest the series has ever produced. And this image alone is good for our number three spot. If you're like me, ghost kids and haunted dolls are much more terrifying than any horror monster, and I guess that's probably why as a kid, Abra and the Psychic Showdown terrified me. Seriously, when I think of creepy cartoons, this episode comes to mind. All Ash wants is a marsh badge, but getting one almost causes him and his friends to become Sabrina's living playthings for the rest of their lives. From start to finish, this one just oozes all sorts of creepiness, and Sabrina's doll in general comes off as more sinister and disturbing than a million Litwick zombies. Also, her motives for turning people into living dolls is pretty psychologically messed up, and plays into everyone's fears of being isolated and lonely. So yeah, this one was freaky as a kid, but which episode could be even worse than this? Well, let's find out. There's 
there's a few reasons Ghost of Maiden's Peak is the creepiest and most disturbing episode of Pokemon to date. For starters, the music is so somber and quiet, creating the perfect horror atmosphere. I also personally enjoy how the show implemented an age-old myth and made it come alive in only 20 minutes. The maiden awaits her loved one's return and eventually dies of a broken heart, which once again taps into our psychological fears of never finding that true love. I know that sounds sappy, but trust me, between Brock and James being abducted and having their souls drained, the creepy twists, ghostly legend, and bittersweet ending, and especially the first instance of Pokemon Fusion, seriously, this led to this. Ugh. This episode combines all of the elements that made the others so deliciously creepy, and for that, it takes the number one spot on our list. If you're feeling nostalgic this Halloween season, then do yourself a favor and watch this one. You won't be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching our top 5 creepiest and most disturbing Pokemon episodes countdown, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like what you saw, make sure to share this video with your Pokemon loving friends, and of course leave a comment letting us know what Pokemon you think is the creepiest. My vote will always be for Gloom. And as I always say guys, happy hunting baby rhinos, and happy Halloween from all of us at Random Tent. Seriously though, you guys want to talk about creepy? This whole time filming, I had this thing staring at me. <laughs>